Hello there, everybody. My name is Coach Shadogs to Ball, but built for the Park News, and welcome to a theme Park News update. This is on a teaser that was released by Six Flags Magic Mountain, and I wanted to discuss my theories on it. Now, before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to see the next YouTube video. Make sure you share with your friends, family, and on social media, and make sure you also get your questions in using the hashtag question before or after your question in the comments down below for the 1,500 subscriber Q&A that will be released uh, a couple of weeks after we hit the milestone. And for now guys, let's get into this video. Just a short one today. Uh, this is talking about a tease that was released by Six Flags Magic Mountain. So I'm going to go full in-depth analysis on it. And even then, I don't think I thought it was going to be a short video today, but there's some really good theories that I can pick out from this. So let's get on with the teaser analysis, shall we say. So on your screen right now, fan at Dabby Dorsey. Uh, that is the teaser. I am going to be sharing, um, you know, like uh, what's been going down recently uh, with some markers and what they sort of rule up to uh, in a little bit. But let's start with this then. So you can see the years 1985, 1997, 2009 and 2021. Now, 1985 was the closing year of Sarajevo bobsleds. Uh, 1997... Um, that was the opening year of um, the Superman Escape from Krypton, which is the uh, launch coaster. 2009 was the opening of Apocalypse, which of course replaced Cyclone, which I believe was on the site of the Sarajevo bobsleds. 2021. Now, the question mark is above that as well. So from that, we could potentially see the replacement of... Superman Escape from Krypton. Now, I don't think that'll make much sense. That will not make much sense because of the fact that, um, you know, it's 2011, refurbishment, Lex Luthor, Drop of Doom was added, so he'd be taking that out as well. I know many people aren't a massive fan of the Drop Tower, but a lot of people are fans of Superman, so it won't go anywhere. Not in the near future, anyway. Um, now, of course, another thing to note from this, that Sarajevo Bobsleds closed in 1985, and then it was replaced by something better in 2009 with Apocalypse. Now, 1997, Superman Escape from Krypton, and of course above that is 2021. So, could this potentially mean that we are getting a coaster better than Superman Escape from Krypton? Now, what's the big thing that Superman Escape from Krypton is good at? And that is height and speed. Now, the height... Uh, is 415 feet. Obviously, we're not going to see a higher coaster than that at this park, unless a polar coaster. Oh, I've seen it. Uh, <laughs> no, it would have seen work by now. Um, and the speed is 100 miles per hour. So, what are the potentials of what could be happening? Now, if you didn't know already, uh, if you look on Amusement Insiders, they're a great YouTube channel, make sure you go subscribe to them as well. Um, Basically, they released a video talking about how the markers uh, spotted on site could is potential. Well, it's drawn up that they could potentially measured up to the same amount of markers or the same sort of marking placements as Jersey Devil, which is of course the RMC single rail at Six Flags Great Adventure. Now, could we potentially be looking at a RMC single rail? Now, I think. It's most likely. I think we're looking at a Jersey Devil clone. Uh, now, I know people aren't a massive fan of clones, and I know people probably want either a Power Splash or the new Looping Power Splash concept from Matt Rides or a B&M Dive, but from what we've seen from that video, again, go, I'd suggest go and watch it uh, from Amusement Insiders, I would say that the RMC single rail rumour could be absolutely correct. Uh, now, again, Jersey Devil clone... Yeah, I said, I, I, I think I remember saying it, uh, when, we, when we got the, the Jersey Devil announcement, I said, do not clone Jersey Devil, and it looks like they're going to. But, what I would like to happen, now, you've got to think, Superman, 415 foot high, 100 miles per hour. Imagine if you half that. So, half a foot, I, 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 I'm not going to lie, I didn't do well in maths. <laughs> but if you saw half 415, you get around 207.5 feet height. 207.5. Half the speed, you get 50 miles per hour. Is that possibly the height and speed of the coaster? Now, I'm going to put the teaser image back on your screen now. Fan of Dorsey. Uh, because I wanted to discuss something else about 
uh, Superman Escape from Krypton. And again, you, you, the teaser is on there again just to sort of remind you. Look at the length of the ride. 1,235 feet. I think that will not be halved. I think that is the exact length of what we're looking at here. Now, compare that uh, to the length um, of Six Flags Great Adventures Jersey Devil Coaster. The length of that is 3,000 feet. So instead of keeping the length the same, what if we uh, tripled the length of that? Uh, so 1,235. Imagine if we did that, t tripled it, times it by three. You get 3,705 feet in length. Now that would obviously be too big for this exact marking to Jersey Devil. But they might put in some extra markings. So it's a real possibility we could be seeing a bigger length than Jersey Devil. But I think it's definitely going to look like to be at this, like half the height and, le and speed of Superman Escape from Krypton. Even though it's not as big as Escape from Krypton in terms of height, speed and length. Uh, well, definitely bigger in length, but not in height and speed. I think we could potentially be looking at a better coaster, in my personal opinion. Now, obviously this is just teasers, and obviously they're going to send us in completely different ways. But those are just my theories from this teaser. Make sure you comment down below your theories as well. I want to see what you guys are thinking. Uh, and again, like I was speaking about with the, the Toys video about, you know, putting your names and themes for potential f for, for the new maze that have been advertising at Shoptoberfest 2020. Uh, put your names and themes in the comments down below and I might do a bumper video sort of talking about your ideas and themes and names and give you a shout out. I'm thinking of doing the same for this as well. What do you think Six Five Magic Mountain is doing for 2021? Put your comments, put your theories, your name ideas, your theme ideas in the comments down below, your coaster types, whatever you think is going to happen. Uh, and, I will, my, and I'll potentially do a, another bumper video sort of explaining uh, what you guys are thinking. Uh, and, I, and this is because I'm thinking about doing a brand new series. Uh, this is the, now, the, now the series is named after an old series I did on the original channel uh, called The Social Media Lounge. And I'm thinking of doing that with these videos. So make sure you get your themes and names ideas in the comments down below. Uh, and coaster types for this coaster and I may do this as part of the social media lounge so thank you very much for watching this theme park news room update from Six Flags Magic Mountain make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video make sure you click the notification bell so you never miss a video make sure you uh, share with your friends, family and on social media and make sure you also get your questions in for the Q&A uh, two weeks after we hit the milestone it will be released uh, make sure you get your questions in using hashtag question before or after your question in the comments down below and for now guys keep on the coast life and I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care guys have an awesome day